A couple things, all of it's been to set up off our crab ride called, called tilt attempt, whatever we're doing. So we're double thigh crying, some of you guys are spiraling, that's fine. Honestly, I feel like I get a better bump with a double thigh cry, but I'll get a better cheat with a spiral, right? Because my hand's already here, it can slip across. So start thinking about little things like that. Double thigh cry might get a lot more weight forward, but if I spiral, my hands are ready to slip for my claw, okay? Where if I'm double thigh crying, maybe a half a second, but man, half a second could be a big deal in a high level match. So figure out what you like here, how quick you can get to your claw. Now we talked about that float. All right, I can go left to right, or if he bases out, I can take him straight back. Again, high hand side's always gonna kick. My left hand's my high hand. This wrist will always be trapped on the mat. If I kick, start to recover. As soon as he bases back up, we had those options of two on one tilt, near wrist tight waist tilt. We went to our cross wrist tilt. Head now elbow in the hole, looking to block. Okay, he fights and now he's down. We thread a real shallow hook right here to get my bar. We were going rebar tilt. We're looking for my backside tilt. If I start to go to my rebar tilt and the wrist comes free, then all I do is windshield wiper my bottom hand up. I hop to the side, I got my bar, and I drive the chest over. Now I'm thinking shoulder to the ear. And as I drive shoulder to ear, and I want my chest high because I want a ton of pressure. You ever watch Gene Mills show his high half series? He's one of the best pinners in the game. He always talks about how high his chest is to create that, that top level pressure. Once I get it loaded up here, I sprawl and square, and then I just slide down. Now I'm driving with my chest and my toes. This is loose, but I still got the backside wrist. And as I drive here, you'll see your scapula start to poke out. The pinning area on this guy's back is bigger than you think. The pinning area is pretty big on this guy's back. Everybody thinks it's the shoulder blades. It's actually a little bit bigger area than just shoulder blades. So I got my bar, everything's tight, chest to chest. Boom, right here. He's flat, flat, okay? But I want you to go through it just like that. Get your tilt with your cross wrist tilt. Get your tilt with your rebar tilt. And then get your, get your, uh, Bar and, bar, and, bar and a half tilt, or bar and a half pin. Once you go through the whole thing, boom, jam. Get my claw right here, take it back. High hand side kicking. Look here, trapping that wrist. Cross wrist tilt. Hold it, hold it, hold it, keep it out. Get my rebar tilt. Rebar tilt back, come back down. Lose the hand. Once you wipe it up, forward pressure. Again, I don't pull the wrist to his chest. I drive his chest over the wrist. Here, head and chest up. Once I get his shoulder to his ear, sprawl. Slide down. Drive. You can sprawl as much as you want. Boom, oh, right there. Chin up. Nice and flat. Again, if you lose this right here, and he starts to belly down, boom. Oh, elbow deep. I'll still have the wrist in my opposite hand. Should bury him there every time. Questions? Got about four minutes. Go.